<clears throat> Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome once again uh, my new screencast. After a long time I tried to start a, a new screencast about the, about the most important and critical issues for the uh, software development industry. How can you migrate your databases, uh, versioning based uh, my data migration, database migrations from different environments, uh, meaning uh, from development environment, and you try to deploy those, your, your applications like the Spring Boot application or other other Java applications uh, with different environments like a development, testing, release, and production environments. That's just one of the most critical issues for them when you are working with the, the industry and the professional industry and software industry. So it's, it's a really important to, to understand how the migration database migration process uh, works in contrast to the to the to the uci cd continuous integration and continuous development so the in in the older world older phases older times it was like a school based uh, database migrations meaning that you need to be a complete the database to, to to migrate for the SQL levels then you can need to dump the, all the databases and it makes something really difficult to manage those databases into the into the nowadays the DevOps uh, cultural develop, development uh, or, or how can say the, the agile based developments so that means you need to be continuously uh, migrate your databases and then you need to be continuously implement your, your features or functionalities and that's the reason why the database migrations are really important nowadays if you see the pictures like that's the i try to cover here about the the, the existing open source database migration tools like uh, Flyway and Liquidate database migration. Both uh, database migration tools. Uh, it's, it's, it's Java based, so that means you can use Java and then and also the Ruby or other other languages available. And then I'm, I'm trying to here make some dummy example applications. Uh, with the Spring Boot and then uh, using the Spring Boot KPA and export some REST APIs and then and then continuously this REST API uh, I try to install in different environments like the productions uh, and uh, development test and release and production environments. That's the, that's the main idea why uh, i try to make new screencast to, to to share with you how can you do it and how can you build and how can you configure your application and automatically to deploy the application in the different environments so if you see the pictures like uh, we are talking about uh, java based uh, database migrations and versioning migration systems with uh, with both systems and fly away and the key based meaning I will take the, the applications, the examples, um, uh, and example from the uh, take the same that migration script or SQL script for the flyway, and then the same script need to be applied the uh, liquid base. That means uh, it's the liquid base has a lot of possibilities for the format like XML, JSON, or, or EML format and XML. And, and SQL formats. That's the reason why I, I try to to discuss and share with you how can you if you have a flyway SQL script for the data type database migrations and then how can you send a SQL script? How can you take over or take the the liquid based database migration process? That means that means you let you did did you run and some companies or you you professional or you company is interested to liquid base you can just one to one take the script and then you do some configuration changes in the liquid base and the flyway and because the, the liquid base has different how can say the the the, the project stacks i will show you later when i start the development but because we are need to discuss the other friend theoretical part so that means the database migrations is really important 
uh, for you, you nowadays the development of CI and CD. That means CI did be able to the same time to continuous integration and continuous deployment to the your database using the backend servers. And then uh, you need to be you, you replication. Uh, in, in replication means that you Spring Boot replication, Java application, or other applications. That's the reason. Uh, it is important to send time to synchronize your database migration process and also that you, you, your replication migration process, replication deployment process. That means you, you, you deploy or install the replication in the deployment environment. At the same time, you need to be the same versions of uh, your, your, your speed or database and do the same in the same, the same environments. That's it's really important to, to get the clear pictures. So you got the clear picture of what I mean, how can you work and how can it works together and that's the important part. So I mean, previously I have a lot of the, the, the applications and examples that how can, how can you, how can you, you can do the, the, the part of the integrations and then from the uh, to to can can deploy the you you spring boot application with the standalone jar files and, and even though i will try later part of the of the presentations like how can you send application uh, not the standalone jar file deployments in the different environments with the spring boot and profiling concept and i will do the same application to deploy the in the, in the docker and kubernetes that's the idea uh, to cover a lot of part of the application how can you if you have some some standalone jar files and then how can you build out of the docker email out of the jar files and to deploy this docker images into the into the docker container or docker compose tools using or you can you deploy the the docker images in the, and uh, into the Kubernetes that I will cover later later presentation later part of my of my tutorials. That's the let's have a continue the 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 part of the development and then I will step by step to to try to 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 develop the step by step with you. Okay, that's that's the nice thing. So let's continue the development part. I will show you. The, uh, the the project structure, configuration structure, and then start the development with the uh, very fast development with the uh, uh, flyway, and then we take the same speed of same project, same application to the liquid based based database migration process. Let's have a start and 